Good afternoon and welcome into my kitchen folks on this doomy and gloomy day. I've got a little bit tired of watching the news of late because it seems to be 24-7 uh, doom and gloom. So I thought I'd come on and cheer you up, bring a bit of uh, joy into your kitchen and make a lemon lime cheesecake. And my recipes are very, very simple. Uh, I wrote a cookbook recently, Mary's Kitchen Cookbook, and you'll find this if you have a copy. It's on page 100, Lemon Lime Cheesecake. All my recipes are fairly simple and the instructions are very simple as well. So if you're not a dab hand in the old kitchen, then that's a great book for you, or just watch my videos. You can go on to YouTube, but if you go onto my website, www.maryjoancalder.com, you'll find this recipe, okay? So the recipe's there under desserts, and uh, if you have a chance to get the ingredients together, I see there's three people on, say hello. <laughs> um, you can see the numbers coming up there, so that's great. So no, just to cheer you up a wee bit, and we're not going to talk about the C word, and we're just going to get on with uh, some nice positive thoughts and make a lemon lime cheesecake. And this was a recipe that I made in my, who's on here? Hi there, Donna, nice to see you. Uh, this is a recipe I made in my restaurant many years ago, and we couldn't make enough of it. It just walked off the sh off the off the cake stand let's put it that way and uh it was just one of the favorites and i've always made it it's so simple to make um and i use various different kinds of variations as well sometimes hi there peter thanks for coming on and julie <laughs> and gina great great to see you girls <laughs> i'm hoping a few more people that i know come on here Oh, you made the curry chicken. Well, funny enough, I just, I'm trying to do a few videos and put them on YouTube. I did a banana cake. My friend Lorna gave me a wonderful recipe of her mom's banana cake. And I did a, a YouTube um, video of that. So you'll find it on YouTube. And if you go on my website, maryjoancalder.com, you can click on the YouTube there, just there. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe and ring the bell, then you get notified if I put a new video on. I just put the spinach curry on. In fact, I'm just making a spinach curry, um, which is, again, very, very simple. And once you get into making them, you can just add your little bits and pieces. I want to say hi. Hi, Lorna. Thank you very much. <laughs> and you looked very good today with your face mask on earlier. And hi, Susan. I was just, Lorna, I was just telling them about your mom's uh, banana cake. And I wanted to come on live here just to cheer you up a little bit and, uh, you know, um, just break out of the depression. A little bit. So, uh, Lorna, I think you're probably looking very beautiful now after your face mask here. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. Thank you. I hope Irv's there watching. Irv, are you there? I hope you're watching the video. <laughs> And Jerry Lynn, hi, and Gina. Oh, you made the roast chicken, Gina, with the lemons. Oh, I bet your family loved it. I like that. I've also got a video of that. That's on YouTube as well. I'm trying to do as many as I can. There's Daisy. Hi, Daisy. Daisy's responsible for doing my beautiful new website, www.maryjoancalder.com. Right, Daisy? Thank you. Goodness me, a lot of you girls are coming on. Okay, so some of you girls that are on here are my clean eaters. <laughs> so this is probably not one of your recipes you're going to put in your repartee uh, because there's um, a few things here that are not sort of deemed as clean eating, like double cream and condensed milk. And I think that's about it, really. Other than that, I think we're okay. We're safe. So I'm going to get started because this just takes a few minutes to do. And Twila, hi. Oh, good. You girls are all, my goodness. And Marilyn, hi. Marilyn from Ohio. I get to talk to you girls from all over the world, which is wonderful. That's the nice thing about this. That's a wonderful thing about setting up my Mary's Kitchen page. Plus to give you tips, plus to help you. And those, especially the young ones who don't know how to cook, can't cook, won't cook, um, gives them an opportunity. 
So listen, first thing I do is I get digestive biscuits. And what I generally do when I buy a pack of digestives, I crumb them up. So I just put them in my one of my little Magimixes uh, and just crumb them up. Or you can just put them between a piece of paper and roll them with a uh, rolling pin. Okay, and then I just put them in containers. So they're here ready for when I'm ready to make a lemon meringue pie, which I quite often use uh, the... Uh, digestive biscuit crumb. Now for you in the United States, some of you may know what a digestive biscuit is. If you don't, you know what a graham cracker is. And I've also done a recipe for a graham cracker. If you go on my kitchen page, which you're on just now and you scroll down, there's a recipe for graham crackers, which are very, very easy to make by the way. And then you just crumb them up and you've got them ready for your, bis your base of your uh, pie, cheesecake in this case. So I don't really, really measure this. And I just put enough in here. I know you can see this, can't you? I put enough in here to cover the base. Oh, I've even got my Fitbit on because I want to see how many steps I walk. I walk in the kitchen. I just put enough on. It doesn't matter because it doesn't matter how thick and you want to push it up the sides. So I want to just see that I've got enough to go up the sides. Put a bit more, it's not gonna hurt if it's a little thicker. There we go. So that's what I do, I get my digestive biscuits and I get them prepped up early, so that's all really done early. Kathy, how are you? Kathy, guess what? La la la, I got my lemon squeezer all ready. I hope you have too. Hey Susan. <laughs> okay, so I've melted here about I don't know, a half, now I haven't used really good butter here, I'll tell you why, because, you know, uh, it's a little hard shop in these days, it's hard, so I, ha I bought a couple of these for baking and things, and they're not so expensive, utterly butterly, it doesn't matter what kind it is, I just bought this particular brand, there's Bertolini, Bertolini. there's all sorts of different brands of, so I didn't want to use expensive butter for this dish this time, I usually do. But I'm just going to mix some of this butter into, into here. I hope there, there's plenty. Just melt your butter in the microwave. I thought this would just be a little bit more fun. Just to come on here and make something nice. You can watch and learn if you don't know how to... I'm not a really good cake baker, I'll be honest. Lorna gave me that recipe the other day to make a banana cake. I'm just going to put all that in. There we go. And um, usually my cakes fail miserably. So I've never professed to be a, a baker. Um, and I'm just gonna do this with my fingers. Hands are washed. <laughs> How many times have we heard that? Wash your hands. So I'm just gonna get these crumbs all nice and wet with the butter. And uh, then I'm just gonna, yeah, that was a perfect amount of butter, by the way. So you want to make sure that all your crumbs are coated with the butter because you're going to be pressing this into a shape up the side of the flan dish. My friend Kathy there said she's got the same flan dishes. Jeanette, how are you? Jeanette, enough about you. Let's talk about me. <laughs> That's my friend Jeanette on from Canada. One of my BFFs forever. We met in our college days. We're doing Route 66 next year together. I hope, Jeanette, we are. So there, I've got all my crumbs uh, coated. And I know as soon as Jeanette goes off here, she's gonna be making this cheesecake. She, uh, she, her and I went to college together. Mohawk College, eh, Jen? Legal secretaries. <laughs> Yeah, we qualified as legal secretaries. Neither one of us got a job in a law office. Yeah, she owned a restaurant too in Westdale called Tulips. Yeah, that's um, that was some time ago. It was funny we both owned a restaurant. We're very similar actually, Jen and I. We have a lot of fun together. Unfortunately, we don't get too much opportunity to see each other because she lives in Canada and I live here. So I'm just putting this up the sides of my, up the, oh, you know what I forgot, Evie, is Evie, did Evie come on? I don't know if Evie came on. I haven't seen her yet. Oh, you're going to send me a recipe, Kathy, cake. 
I'm not really good with cake. So hey, give me a second here. I'm going to get a spoon now. I'm so busy yapping. I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. Okay. Just take the crust up the side of your dish first. And I, I usually do it with my knuckles. But I'm going to do it with the spoon because... There. Just take it right up to the edge. And then what you want to do is cover the bottom. So as I say, you can do this. Also, you could add uh, some ginger nut biscuits into this crumb mix, which gives it a really nice flavor in the lemon lime cheesecake. It's really delicious. Okay, so we got that just about done. There. Ah, I got a hole in here. I don't know why. Here, I'll do a little bit more with my spoon. <laughs> I usually don't have so much trouble with my grant my there we go with my digestive biscuits maybe put a little bit too much butter in there but anyway never mind so it's usually just enough butter just to coat your uh, crumbs your digestive crumbs and then I usually just work around the dish like that just to get it all nicely there we go so Sometimes I put, ah, I see a little hole. I don't want any holes in this. Uh, sometimes I put this in the uh, fridge for a little, oh no, that's fine. There we go. So we've got our base there. And I'm gonna just say, I've got a little cloth here for wiping my hands. You could also make individual ones if you wanted. So if you had little individual pie dishes like this, or like this, and that one, you can pop it out and serve it with a little bit of whipped cream on the side, a little bit of lemon. So that's that. We've got our base done. We'll just clean our surfaces a little bit here. There we go. And then I'm gonna bring my, my big beater in here, my Rolls Royce, my little Rolls Royce. Put all these things over here. Evie, sorry. Evie bought me this lovely apron when I was in Florida. Thank you, Evie. So I think I'll wear it. I don't normally wear an apron, but I'll wear one today. Because it's pink, it's bright, and it's happy. So I'll put my little apron on. And Evie, I hope you're watching. Evie, you are! You like to... Evie, look! Mary, Mary's Kitchen. I got it on. She got that for me as a wee surprise when I was in the States. And I was over the moon with that. So I got my little mixer here. Not so little, I should say. <laughs> oh, Evie just said, oh, wow. <laughs> Karen, how are you? You're in isolation down in London there. And hi, Kathy. I hope you girls are all well. I hope you girls are all, uh, this isolation thing doesn't suit, does it, too much? Okay, so... That's why I just wanted to come on and do a little cheery thing here. Now, my recipe in my cookbook, I think I showed you, yes, earlier. Uh, it calls for eight ounces of cream cheese, but I got these cream cheeses in uh, sizes of six. And I am going to use two because it doesn't really matter. To be honest, it doesn't matter. I'm going to use two cream cheeses. This is light Philadelphia cream cheese. Not that that makes a huge amount of difference, but maybe a few calories saved. There we go. That's one. And then we're going to put the other one in. So my friend Jeanette went up to see her grandkids the other day, um, but she stood in the driveway from a distance, obviously. Uh, so let's get everybody, let's not waste any of this cream cheese because it's so dang good. Okay, I'm just going to give that a little whirl for a minute. And that's just about enough. And then I'm going to put the double cream in. And I got this Elm Lee double cream, it's horrible, but that's all they had. I don't like to use this Elm Lee stuff. But anyway, that's it. I'm sorry. That's what our cheesecake's going to have to be made of today. And that's 10 ounces. 
So you can use eight ounces of cream cheese, but I've used 12, uh, I've used two six packs there. It's okay. It's not gonna really, really make a huge amount of difference to the recipe. I'm gonna heat that up a little bit. I used to make this every day. I could make it with my eyes shut. I'm gonna come on and say hi to a few of you in a minute. Hey, Kathy, hi. And Allison. Hey, Jeanette. Oh, Mary Lace. Oh, my friend Jeanette says Mary let her sit in the backyard to keep her distance from the kids. I'm just gonna mix this up a little bit. Get it lovely, whipped up. Well, Jeanette didn't go to the same sort of um, uh, high school as I did. She went to a different one. And uh, I had a fantastic home economics teacher. Her name was Mary Lou Bruner. She was terrific. One tin of condensed milk. Okay, 397 grams. Get it all in there. Every bit of it. Get a spoon. And just get it. Every bit of that lovely condensed milk in there. Condensed milk's very, very sticky. Okay. Now, before I whip that up, my next little project is going to be to get the rind off the lemon. So I've got two lemons here. I think in my recipe I say one, but sometimes I put two in. And I got two little limes here that are just about, the reason I made this is, uh, because these limes are just about going off, so I don't like to waste things. But anyway, get your limes, give them a roll, okay? Because there's not, it's hard to get the juice out of limes. Give them a roll on the hard surface, okay? Make them nice and juicy. Get your lemons. You can feel the juice inside them once you roll them, and give them a roll. So I'm gonna get this, go slowly here, and take the rind off. I put some of the rind, inside the uh, lemon lime cheesecake. And then I put some of it on top to decorate. And if I don't have enough to decorate, I take another lemon and I decorate with that because I can always use that lemon for my tea the next day. So it doesn't matter whether it has rind on it or not. But I take every little bit of this rind. Let's see. And my friend, Kathy Wilson, so sweetly gave me this little um, lemon squeezer. I get a lot of the juice off. So this just takes a few seconds. And get yourself a good grater too. The better your grater is, the quicker this little process is. But this just adds a little zing, a little zap into the lemon lime cheesecake. And um, I hope that you are learning something from these videos. Let's see who's on. Hey, Amy. Hi, and Cindy. And Chi Chi, Linda, how are you? <laughs> Good to see you. So if you get a chance, if you've got a couple of lemons and, hey, listen, and if you don't have any limes, don't worry about it. Um, just use the uh, lemons and make it a lemon cheesecake, just like that. You could just put two lemons in there or three lemons if you wanted. I like the green from this to decorate the top of the cheesecake. It looks really, really pretty. So I'm getting as much of it as off as possible because these are only tiny little things. The ones in Florida, key limes, the original key lime pie, is made from key limes, from the key lime tree in Florida. They're very, very tiny. They're like a little, almost half the size of that. They're small, but that's the original key lime pie. And where I learned to make key lime pie originally was a famous jeweler in uh, Florida. His name was Evander Preston, great guy. Rock, rock hippie, but had the most fantastic jewelry store in Florida. He's unfortunately no longer alive. He's passed away, uh, but a super guy. And uh, I managed to catch him live cooking with uh, Keith Floyd. 
and his recipe was key lime, key lime pie, not key lime cheesecake. So there we go. I hope that didn't bore you too much. I got the, the green and I'm going to put a little bit of this rind. I want to save some of the green and yellow and I'm going to put that in there too. I just want to, that nice green color. Good. I want to save a bit of that for the decoration. And I'm going to juice with my lovely friend, Kathy Wilson's, what, what you got a knife already? Um, her lovely little juicer here. There we go. I'm just using one of those Philadelphia cheese things just to put my rubbish in. Because I always say to you, put a little plastic box um, beside you and you can throw all your rubbish then you just got one trip to the garbage can. Right Jeanette? <laughs> Jeanette and I are going on a trip to Route 66 next year. Hopefully corona free. Um, oh, sorry, I mentioned the C word. Sorry, I said I didn't mention the C word. Hey, Paula. <laughs> oh, Paula's making me laugh. Paula's one of my friends from Florida. She's a good hula hooper, too. Get all the juice out of these limes. So that's two lemons and two limes. As I said to you before, because I know some of you are going to ask me for the recipe, so go on to my website, Mary Joan Calder. Dot com. That's all you have to do. Click on the uh, desserts and you'll find the lemon lime. And also, I think you'll find a YouTube video of it as well if you want to see it on, on uh, YouTube live. But you've got it here. It's, this is going to stay on this site, on Mary's Kitchens. There we go. So I'm just going to pour that in there as well. All the lemon and lime. That's a great little thing, Kathy. Thank you for that. I'm going to put a little bit of the pulp in there. I am not. don't want to get any of the uh, seeds. So I've got to be careful there. There. Okay. Just a tiny bit of the pulp. And let me move this gear out of the way. And bring this back into the show. You can see that all right? Okay, so we just need to mix this up a little bit. And then mix it a bit harder. And then all we're going to do is we're going to pour it into our crumb base. I'm sorry, the light's coming in behind me there. Let's give it a really, really good mix. So you've got your... Well, I put 12 ounces of cream cheese in here. One tin of condensed milk. 10 ounces of double cream, uh, the juice of two limes, the juice of two lemons, and some of the lemon rind. That's all. And I can see it thickening up. You can tell when your uh, beaters are making it nice and thick. You can see the lines. Beautiful. Perfect. So there we go. That's it. Somebody would like to lick those beaters, I'm sure. I know a few kids that would like to. So just get that off the beaters as much as possible. And then we're gonna, uh, there. Pour that into your, into your base, like so. Get all of that lovely, Cream cheese and lime and lemon. I'm going to have to taste this while you're watching. I'm sorry. There we go. There we go. I am going to have to have a taste. Oh, yeah. It's so good. Oh, it's so lovely and tangy. That's the nice thing about this. So we're going to get our spoon and just see how it's nice and thick. And what you're gonna do afterwards is just put it in the fridge for a little bit. There we go. This was featured on my uh, Facebook
Facebook this week, so that's why I thought I'd come on and make it. Mm. Very naughty, but nice. Just sprinkle the rest of the rind on top of here. Spread it out a bit. Do it from a height, it's better. And get it all out of here. And I want a little bit more lemon on there. So I'm just going to give it another all over. There, I hope that you get a chance to make this. As I say, you can just make it with lemons if you have some lemons to use up. Um, or you could just make it with limes. See how pretty it looks when you get the lemon and stuff on it? It looks really nice. Well, that'll be going in my cup of tea later. There. A mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. There you go. One lemon lime cheesecake. I'm going to put that in the fridge now for probably about an hour. It's going to set and then it's going to be ready to eat. And how I would serve that is I would cut a piece, put maybe a little bit of uh, whipped cream on the side, and just put a little couple of lemon slices. So I hope you've enjoyed that and thanks for coming into the kitchen today. Who's on? I'll just say a quick hi. Jeannie Morecambe. Kathy, thank you very much. And thanks again for my lovely squeezer. That helps do the job quite well. And uh, Evie, thank you for my beautiful apron. That was really appreciated. Hey, Debbie. Hey, Kathy. Nice to see you. Oh, Kathy, you have to go back and watch the beginning, but you've got the cookbook. And, and I know your dog likes the cookbook too. <laughs> Kathy's a friend of mine, came over to Scotland from the States not too long ago. Thank goodness you came when you came, Kathy, because you wouldn't be coming now. And I've uh, got a few more bits here. Um, oh, you're welcome, Linda. Yeah, Evie, i see you in about an hour. Yeah, in about an hour, I'll be chatting to you. Hey, Susan, thanks for coming on. How are you doing? I saw your pictures of St. Petersburg. Get us a dodo, eh? Absolutely. Well, you're all doing your bit. Isolating. That's really, really important. Uh, and uh, I think uh, the NHS will thank you for that. Kathy, I can't wait till you come back. We're closed down just at the moment. I, Daisy, Daisy's gonna make a vegan version. Well, you can let me know how that works for you, Daisy. <laughs> Oh, Susan, I'll tell you, just go on my website and go www.maryjoancalder and you'll see a buy button uh, there, buy USA or buy UK and just press the, press the button and you're in there and you can uh, go onto the YouTube and subscribe to my YouTube. So it's pretty easy. That's great if you're wanting a copy. <laughs> Debbie, thank you very much. Great, hi Gloria. I'm glad you're staying close. You're staying indoors, all of you. That's good. Well, the nice thing to do is spend some time in the kitchen. I know a lot of my friends are doing a lot more baking than they normally have in the past. And uh, so it's a little bit of fun just to, you know, experiment. I've made a chicken curry earlier. So if you want to make a chicken and spinach curry, there's a YouTube video there for you to watch. And I'm always learning and watching different uh, people's videos and stuff and I'm still learning how to make various dishes and stuff oh that's great Susan thank you so much go have a look and Mary Mary Mac <laughs> good I'm just gonna have a little chat with you girls while you're on here ah oh thank you Kathy yes well Evie thought so too that's why I'm in the pink today yeah, I do like pink, Barbie doll pink. It's a nice color. Olivia, hi. Lorna, her fancies the chicken and spinach curry. Okay, Lorna, I'll tell you what page it's on. Hang on. Uh, what page is the chicken and spinach curry on? Let's find it. Don't, hey, Lorna, make it, when you get a chance, make that balti paste sometime that's in here. You can keep it in the fridge that balti paste 
you can make that up and keep it in the fridge and th then you can make balties and balties are just like really an Indian stir fry so they're very quick and easy to make and very fresh <laughs> can we order an apron yes you can Yes, you will be able to order an apron very soon. As soon as my little friend Daisy Renee Law gets them printed up, which she's working on, you'll see there's a shop now button. So Mary's aprons will be available at some point, but that'd be great. We're doing a few things. They're not just on there just yet because we got hit with uh, COVID-19. So things are kind of at a halt at the moment. So that's why it's fun. Lorna, page 84, okay? Chicken and spinach curry. So you can make that for Irv. Irv, I hope she makes it for you tonight. There <laughs> she says, okay, she's gonna make it. <laughs> oh, thank you very much, Susan. Yeah, there's, oh, there's a picture for everything in here. Yeah, there's a photograph for absolutely everything in here, all through the whole book. So all the soups. Yes, my friend Sarah Stewart did these lovely photographs for me. And her lovely mom put the book together for me. So the pair of them were a dream team helping. <laughs> so anyways, girls, Irv is the cook. Well, Irv, what do you think? You think you might make this today? That's a real nice sort of afternoon. Have a little cup of tea. <laughs> so I'll say cheerio. Look, all of you stay safe. Stay at home. Stay isolated. Keep safe. Um, and uh, I wish you uh, some inspiration in the kitchen. I hope that's brought a little joy into your, into your life. So remember, if you see someone without a smile, give them yours. Have a great day, oh, as best you can, inside. Okay, and just, I'm going to go for another walk. <laughs> see you later. Bye.